Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character being added to WWE Champions, and this one is very special for me. Um, very near and dear to my heart. The character this weekend is Hall of Fame China. Um, so last night, I... Um, was, you know, making social posts, trying to prepare myself for the fact that this preview is going to be on the champ stream. I mentioned it to my dad and my mom and my sister, and I said, you know, like, I'm stoked that they're letting me do this. Um, my family knows how important China was to me. Um, I, like a lot of girls in the 90s, I grew up idolizing China. Um, I wanted to play sports when I was a kid, um, really big into soccer, and there were no girls teams. So I had to play with the boys, and they didn't want me there. They, you know, pulled my hair and shoved me down, and I got benched a lot. I barely got, you know, nobody passed to me. And it was, you know, they didn't want a girl playing with the boys because girls apparently couldn't play with boys. And I had soccer practices on Monday nights, and my dad would, you know, take me to practice, stay there the whole time, bring me back, and we'd get home in time to watch Raw. And there was China kicking everyone's ass, um, girls and boys included. And she basically showed me that you could be, you could play like a girl, and it didn't mean it was a bad thing. So, you could be strong, you could be dominant, you could be beautiful, and you could be feared, all at the same time. So, being able to do this preview live on the WWE Champions Twitch page is an absolute honor for me. I'm very excited. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, she's a trickster. Um, so she's a coach, blue gems and green gems. So it's 2% right when you, um, right when you recruit her up to 21 K, which is five star gold, uh, 20% more damage to blue gems and green gems. So if you have riddle and you want to use showboat Lacey and hall of fame China as coaches, that would be nuts. Um, links, she has the standard hall of fame. Um, any color moves start with four more move points, so Hall of Fame Eddie and Hall of Fame China get their link. She does have gears. I do have them both in my inventory, but for preview purposes, I will start without. And then once we get the standard preview out of the way, we could put on the gears and see what she does. So one gear, does not matter if it's silver or gold. Moves that generate all color gems will create four more all color gems. And then the second gear, again. Oh, I thought I turned off my alerts. That's annoying. Um, trap gems do 100% more damage. And she has the bazooka. Can we talk about the fact that she has the bazooka? She looks great. So this is a three-star build. Purple one, the pedigree, 10 MP, 157,229 damage, makes 16 random gems into black gems and pin the opponent. Um, at five-star gold, this is 17. This would be seven. Uh, she does not get an extra turn on the sub, um, on the stun. Purple two, running power slam, nine MP. Deal 94,756 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. Now, with an eternal positivity plate and setting up wild cards, one turn stun is fine. Uh, DDT, 8 MP, deal 82,357 damage and choose six gems to make into purple gems. So I have not set the entourage for this yet, so we will do that now. 
We'll start with Bray. And Daniel Bryan. Do, 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 do. And Elias. I don't know if Elias is necessary. It really isn't. Um, okay, so we won't use Elias. We will use um, Hall of Fame Eddie just to get an extra purple. And... We'll go with, yeah, I don't have Acro Steamboat, unfortunately, um, but even if I did, I wouldn't use him for preview purposes because I like to use people that everybody has. Uh, so we'll just go with Santa Hogan to buff up that damage a little bit. So we're doing um, half padded and half fury because that's what the metal is and I might as well just take the, the set bonus. Uh, Eternal Positivity. Whenever you break three or more black gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. 20% gem damage, and then the belt bonus is 5%. According to WWE Champions, the broadcaster, um, all new Hall of Fame superstars will have a 30% kickout booth this month. That would have been uh, great to know before I started the preview, but now we know. Testing the three-star build against Hall of Fame Lita. Um, we have the health boosts and stuff. Just want to turn, uh, point out that I have level four tour perks. So 15% more health and um, all color moves start with one more move point. So let's, um, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, she got the bazooka. She got the bazooka! Let's go! Okay, so level one tour perk means we need a black match to get this. Uh, we need to get a black match to get this going. You're choosing 11 to make into purple. So we need a three, um, a three break. And uh, we could do a four break, but that's probably going to pin. So we'll do three, um, three matches. Try to put them in areas where we're not going to cascade into stuff. This is gross. No, that's... I know how to play. Let's just do that. I don't need to do a five break, though, because we'll just get... Oh, really? We're gonna try not to cascade, you know, first time ever. See, if I was on my channel right now, this is where I'd play the, the Brock Lesnar doing the shooting star press landing on his neck. And, wow. Okay. Um, this would be like Price is Right losing horn music time. Uh, so as you can see, new Hall of Famer for the month, 30% kick out damage. She didn't even get rid of all her blue gems. I know, right? Scuff. So. 184,818 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. Stay down. Um, and that is with a almost maxed tier four. 
And then we're going to make 16 random gems into black gems and pin the opponent. And that should... Yep, external positivity plate goes off. Uh, the bot is not dead. It's just a different command. It's weird when the person that usually mods streams and it's like, Oh yeah, I'll do the mo Wait, I'm not doing the mod work. Um, so we'll do that and that. I mean, we'll do that just in case. Oh, I thought it was going to happen again. I almost lost my mind. Uh, Pedro, I don't know what that means, but uh, same to you. And uh, done. So that's a stun build. Eternal positivity plate. Now what we can do is swap out the stun and put in the other black move that makes traps. So we can swap in this other black move. The handspring back elbow is 5 MP, deal 64,057 damage, and make all black gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to 2 black MP. If broken by you, increase your black gem damage by 29% for three turns. So, uh, what I'm going to do is take out Daniel Bryan. And we're going to put in a black gem damage trainer. So you could do Powerhouse Sheldon, you could do Steph, but um, Slick does the same for every. Yeah, Volkov or Dude Love are the 35 percenters. If you have Hall of Fame Bree, you could consider putting her in as well, but again, we're going to leave Santa Hogan just because it's all gems. Uh, and basically what we're going to try to do here is um, lay out our black traps, cover them with the other black move and turn them purple, and boost our um, black gem damage for the, when we hit the finisher, and basically spam the board with black gems. So let's see how that works. Oh, and that's perfect because we have um, all black gems into traps, cape, so we'll hit that. Early contender for best move animation of the year. Just saying. Uh, and we'll take that. Charge that up a little bit. Well, that wasn't necessary now, was it? I know old China has it too, but this China came out this year. Do I even want to? No, I don't. Um, Cause we're gonna be ready to go. So let's just boost it a little more. Twenty nine percent, so we're doing twenty five K. Hit this again. And I don't 
don't know how many I can break without pinning. Because I don't want to do that. Famous last words, right? Oh, come on! F's in the chat. F's in the chat. in the chat y'all that was that was unfortunate can we kick out at one to make sure we don't oh, see I don't mind this popping up but I also like being able to see the gem damage so <sighs> okay that way we should still be boosted right yes excellent all right Bang! When it works, it works. You're gonna have to just trust me on this. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is bring in the red moves. I, I know how to use my computer. Uh, so the Gorilla Press Drop is 5 MP. Deal 64,057 damage and make all red gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to two red MP. If broken by you, destroy four random purple gems. The gorilla press slam. So it's similar animations, but one she throws you and the other she just drops you. Um, it's epic. Also 5 MP, same move damage, 64,057, and make all purple gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to two purple. So her three trap moves, if the opponent breaks them, they steal MP. And if you break them, like this is, I'm so excited. Um, so this one, if broken by you, makes seven random gems into red gems. So kind of Walter-esque where you break your traps and spam the board with red. But I, I dare to say better in the sense that you don't need to charge up a, a different color move to reload it. Uh, this is going to be sick. And um, I'm going to just put the stun move in here. Just because. And it's low charge. So we will take out Bray. And they're both 5 MP. So even without tour perks, if you have... your MP trainers at 5k. Both of these will be ready to go on turn one. Uh, take off dude love. So we could do slick to do like buff, buff all of our gem damage. Um, initial board trainers might be a good way to go to um, in the not you. Not you. So the red initial board trainer is uh, Powerhouse Kevin Nash. Who's the purple one? Trainer. I know who the coaches are. Trainer. Oh, it's Taker. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I don't have Fiend High at all, I'm going to do a purple initial board coach and a red initial board trainer. Uh, so where is... Stop that. Uh, zombie Charlotte. Yes, my Zombie Charlotte is five silver. Don't at me. My Andrade is level one, so that won't be all that useful. But we'll do her for purple, and then we'll do Nash for red. I don't know why.
Where is my Nash? My Nash is also like level one. <laughs> there he is. We can try gem damage after, but I want to see how helpful this is going to be. So is it 1500? Yes, I think I can swap in some moves and get him to 1500. Bam. Really, I gotta do both? Okay. Okay. But I'm gonna try this, and we're gonna do a full Fury build. So we are going to remove that plate. And we going to put on that plate so when we break red gems because we're going to be destroying the entire board basically turning it red and then charging up the move that does that again um, that's going to give us our purple so we'll see how this works again I'm just going to run through every move set once and then after I take a look at all the builds we can try some stuff out together um, so I appreciate that in advance. Um, this is gonna, this is gonna wreck. I just know. I'm so excited. Red not an issue. You're generating red, destroying purples, and needing purple gems to place traps, but... I see what you're saying, though. So what we can do, because we've put, um... do that and that'll destroy our purples but this issue yes I can see I mean, thankfully, she's stunned. She's going to take that, isn't she? She didn't. Excellent. It's amazing how the initial board people, just like one of them worked, right? I still, well, because if we turn the purples into traps, and then we break the red traps, which are going to break the purples, and then spam everything. So, I'm going to do that. Oh, look, they're broken. That wasn't supposed to happen. What should have happened is the three purples should have broken, and then everything should have turned red. I don't know why it all happened at once, but um, WWE Champions broadcaster, if you are watching, something to note. And it's really going to make me break my reds and purples. Now they show up, right? Yeah, exactly, T Live. And it was ha it was happening when I was testing it out too. Like sometimes it happened and sometimes it didn't. Like, is it because I put both of them down? So breaking the reds are supposed to destroy purples. So when I do this, it should only destroy purples. But it's spamming the board with reds. Um, so I guess fun broken, but not intended. Which makes it kind of hard to show that build. 
Because you're getting a lot more red gem spam than you're supposed to. Yeah, both traps are doing the same thing. Maybe it's doing it both at once, but that's not how it's supposed to work. So we'll bring in the five star move. What I was going to do is so destroy four random purple. That's what I had planned f at first. So let's do th the five star move is the move that I just put in. Uh, so five star move is the power bomb. 6 MP, deal 75,276 damage plus 21,029 bonus damage for every trap gem. So considering she's got three trap gem moves, that could get like crazy. And um, I will preface this by saying I do not have Acro Dragon. So I can't, I know what he does and I can't use him. Because I don't have them. But I'm aware that he adds more trap gem damage. And when we put on the gears for her, um, both of the gears means she'll have more trap damage. Damn it. You guys try saying that five times fast. Okay. Um, so. Break red to get purple. What was the other one? Purple to. That might actually be better. That, that could be a sick hot tag with King Booker. Unfortunately, the mixed tag matches are not the greatest. Um, so... We need purples on the board. And my pen died. Actually, let me think here. Purple in the traps. We'll do red gem damage here. No, not Nikki. A reminder that the crossover value with these trainers is 6,250 or so. Um, so because she's 5 silver, I believe her red gems are high and... <sighs> Come on, game. Oh my god, okay, leave. Fine, leave. Oh, they're not! Okay, so Nikki Ash it is. My apologies. When she's five gold, then you'll use um, Powerhouse Roman, Phenom, Davy Boy. So we're going to try this and hope that we get... I forgot to change out the middle. Actually, you know what? No, my purple percent is not Fury, so we won't do that. Let's keep with that, and we'll keep this plate on as well to help us charge the purples. And we are going to start a prayer circle that we get a purple match on turn one. It worked. How much do you want to bet she dodges a swipe? How much do you want to bet she dodges this? Oh, she didn't! Oh, man. And that's going to fill all that up. And then we have lots of purple. If she kicks out. And then she takes it. 
Rude. Yeah, it's Walter on steroids, basically. So we will stun. What up, BMW? How you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, so we'll make all purples into traps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's seven. So not the end of the world because we're just going to recycle it. Uh, and then we're going to go blap. Blap. Stay down. And then we're gonna go blat! I don't need props right now. What are you what what are you doing? No, I I don't need props. <laughs> we're gonna go blat! <laughs> what I go away! <laughs> what is this? Thank you. God. They'll do that. And then we'll go black. And then we'll swipe and win. And two live with the man. <laughs> You're getting auto modded up the wazoo right now. Emote for black. It would be basically DJ's emote, but with a big L in the middle. We're gonna swap in that other one. And basically trap a palooza. That's a blop. Yeah. So let's do this. Okay, so... Red match. Excellent. I will wait on that until this gets filled. So two gears is a way to incorporate the five star move then I guess. Yeah, unless you have acro dragon to coach. Uh, but even then, like the gear would be better. Look at all these not red and purple gems on the board. Okay, this should be a little better. And that's done. Uh, would Twilight Ritual Plate work with that since you're swiping to break them, not using a move to break them? Yes, if you are uh, swiping, 
That would trigger the plate, yes. And what was the last one I wanted to... Oh, I wanted to do with like just crazy board chaos. So I just want to see how broken things get with all these trap gems on the board. I just want to see how broken this gets. See if we can break the game. Think I can? Okay, right on. Right, that's the trap build. Any questions? <laughs> All right. That was nasty. I love it. So as you can see, gear number one, gear number two. And you know, we're doing all gold everything. So, I know I have it on the screen. Um, but one gear, again, does not matter if it's silver or gold. It's the amount of gears you have. Uh, moves that generate all color gems will create four more all color gems. And then both gears, trap gems do 100% more damage. So 20 random into black, choose 10 to make into purple. Make all black into traps. Let's see what kind of damage this will do. So, no black match, but... Oh, that looks so great when she's in gold. Queen. Absolute queen. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Wait. Really? Best female in the game. Best female in the game. I will hear no arguments on the matter. <laughs> Don't treat her like a man. Don't treat her like a woman. Treat her like the best female in the game. Better than nothing. Yeah, she's tier 1.03457384579083475. I agree with Jay Nasty Booty. You are correct. Yeah, I'm doing it again, don't worry. She's no Akron Naomi. That move, can we talk about how great that looks with the gold gear?
Ogan Ogan and Ogan sounds like a Canadian law firm. What? <laughs> No, don't cascade. Okay. Oh, sweet. God, that looks so cool. Especially now that she doesn't have T-Rex arms doing it. I can't wait to see someone rate this a four. No names. But I will at them. <laughs> Damn! I love her. I love her. Um, so... I'm gonna run this red again, just cause the plate was an excellent decision. Not bad. Oh, she's really gonna kick out though. Easy does it. So like a million damage on turn one if you're into that kind of thing? <laughs> 